EA Sports coverage of the NFL brings us to First Energy Stadium here in Cleveland, Ohio. Today, we're set for a good AFC matchup between the Tennessee Titans and the Cleveland Browns. Here's Randy Bullock now to put toe to leather, and off we go from Cleveland. to throw on first down. He finds his man complete. It's Ford. And he's going to be dropped following a pickup of seven past the 30 to the 32. A good safe pass there right off the bat. That's almost a rhythm play. That's what we like to call it. Get them into rhythm early, something safe, something they're confident about, something they feel good. And once that's completed, then you just keep moving from there because the confidence elevates. They'll operate from the 32-yard line here, second and three. First carry now for Kareem Hunt. They'll get three as the drive continues. It's a first down. It's nice every now and then in this game not to see people overthink it. Just hand it to the old reliable guy. Let him pick up the first down. So from the 36 now, first and 10. Back to throw, Watson. They'll roll him out right. He's going to let this go deep, back over the middle. And this is caught inside the five. And all the way in, touchdown, Cleveland. Anthony Schwartz, 64 yards. And the Browns march right down the field in three plays to claim the early advantage. Extra point by York is up and good. And it's now a 7-0 game. York ready, and here we go as he sends this one away. This will be fielded inside the 5. And out a little across the 25 to the 27. Tannehill and the Titans come up now first and 10 at their own 27. They'll start on the ground. It's Derrick Henry. Now that was an excellent run. And when you see that happen, that's when you're seeing guys doing their job and then some people doing a little bit more. Offensive linemen and tight ends, they're expected to block. But the wide receivers, all they want to do is catch passes. So when they block on a big time running play and create extra space, you've got to hit the jackpot there. A good gain on first, has him set up with second and just a couple of inches now from the 29. They'll go option to the short side, and he will lose yardage back to the 34-yard line. It'll be a loss of a full three yards there, and it also brings up third down. They'll try to run for the first with Henry. And he will have a first down here at about the 40. They get five out of that one, and it moves the chains. Plenty of things to talk about here, partner. But to me, their defense gave up a touchdown on the first drive. How about how they're responding, coming back? That's a big third down pickup to keep their drive alive. The 
Quick throw knocked away. It's incomplete. Uh, the quarterback got away with one there. Looked like he was in line for a pick, but instead is knocked harmlessly to the turf. After the incomplete pass, here now is second and ten. Tannehill going to turn and give this to Henry. And they get to him after a gain of six to the 46. A quick burst there, and he nicely bit off a pretty decent gain. In search of four yards here to pick up the first down. Back to throw, Tannehill. Now he tries to force it in, and it's intercepted. Takes this one back into the end zone, and the Browns' defense has a touchdown. CD, what a sensational start for this defense. Instead of just forcing the three and out, which they were about to do, they pick it off and take it in for the score. Yeah, I mean, they didn't just settle for the standard good way to start a game. They started in dramatic fashion. Take it away, score points, and guess what? They'll be flying to go back out there on defense again after that play. So they'll get another shot on offense following that pick six, and now the kick is away. Fielded just outside the goal line. And able to get this out to the 25. The Titans offense set to begin the drive. They find themselves in a good size hole here, in a good size hole early on in this game as they come up on first down. They begin with Henry. And they're able to get this one across the 35. A gain of 11 to kick off the drive, and it's a quick first down. I have to admit, I'm excited by that play call and the end result because this is a team that's down big early in the first quarter. And a lot of teams will just panic, abandon the playbook, and just start firing the ball all over the place. It's way too early for that. Stick to what works for you. Down double digits, and we talked about their game plan being both running and passing there. You're right. They're sticking to the game plan, getting the ground game going. A lot of football left to be played. On second down, here's Henry. And he'll get it out a couple yards shy of midfield at the 48. A gain of five, good enough for the first down. Team nothing to score. This is the NFL on EA Sports. On first and ten, Tannehill. That to the former Browns tied in Austin Hooper. And he's going to be taken down just shy of the 35. When you get a big tight end like this, sometimes it takes more than one man to bring him down. Oftentimes, your best bet, just jump on and hold on and wait for your teammates to arrive to help get him on the ground. So a first and 10 upcoming from Brown's territory now at the 36. Inside handoff, Henry. And he'll power ahead, but only for about three yards. Second down coming up. Three yards on that last carry. Here's second and seven. Now it's Tannehill. Dancing to his left. And he can't find a receiver, and he's brought down. Multiple players combined for their team's first sack of the game. Well, you're already up a couple of scores here in the first half defensively, and Charles, they just seem to be playing really free on that side of the football. I love the observation because with that type of a lead, they feel like they can take a few more chances and be even more aggressive, and it's been paying off for them so far this game. First time they've hooked up here. Good for 17 and a first down. Yeah, these are the types of plays they're going to need to hit on if they're going to get back into this game. It hasn't been the greatest of first halves, but this is a nice throw here on third down, and they keep the drive going. From the red zone now, Tannehill. And this throw a bit late as he couldn't reach back for it. Well, congratulations to them. They come through defensively with another stop. And let's face it, this secondary, they've gone unchallenged so far in the first half. So after the incompletion on first, now second and 10. 
Back to the ground now. It's Henry. And they'll get him down right around the 16. They do get a couple, but they'll be left staring at a third and eight coming up. They'll be in search of eight yards here as they hope to convert the first down. Throwing on third down, Tannehill. And this is going to be incomplete. Down here in the red zone, you know your tight end is going to be a favorite target. Couldn't hang on. And sometimes they just have to get out of their own head because they understand how tight windows are there and how many bodies are there. And sometimes they just overthink it and don't catch the ball. Bullock's kick is good. And they will get themselves on the board here at 14-3. So from an offensive perspective, at least able to get on the board here right in front of the two-minute warning. Yeah, now it's time to talk about complimentary football, isn't it? Because if the defense can force a three and out, there could be enough time on the clock that they can get the ball back for their offensive guys and maybe put some more points on the board before the half. The Cleveland offense ready to go. The offense coming back out here. Plenty of energy ready to roll. Looking to just add to what they have been doing after scoring a touchdown, Charles, their last time out. And that's a great feeling to have on the sideline, partner, knowing you just won the battle against the opposing defense. And since they came off the field, I'll guarantee you all they want to do is get back out there because they know they have the upper hand on that defense right now. They'll come up now, second and four from the 31. Now Mon. Oh, into a sea of defenders had intercepted. Picked off by Caleb Farley. And he will take this one home. It's a touchdown. Well, they matched their opponent's pick six from earlier. Those are some crucial points that may prove pretty consequential as to how this one plays out. And, Brandon, I think now we're not just watching how they move around the field, but we're checking their psychology out a little bit, aren't we? Because that defense, they're about to go right back out with all the momentum on their side. That's for the opposing offense. You wonder if there's going to be some hesitation to lean entirely on the passing game to try and mount a counterattack. Extra point up and good by Bullock, and that makes it a 14-10 ball game. So they throw the pick six. They'll get another shot at it now as this one's in the air. This one taken just inside the 10. And able to take it past the 25 and up to the 28-yard line. drive about to get started and remember they were just out here a moment ago through the pick six so we'll see if they can take better care of the football this go around and sometimes partner I think it's almost better that you just throw the pick six and you come right back out on the field you're not over on the sidelines dwelling for it for very long you're not hearing everyone say oh, hey you'll get them next time hey don't worry about it all that stuff just goes right out the window you're right back out on the field with a chance to atone now he's able to take it across midfield before going out of bounds. A lot of effort there for just a three-yard gain, and now second down. Everyone has their strengths, able to move to their right or their left, being able to throw the football. So that means you've got to work on both because you never know which way you're going to get flushed by pressure. In this situation, able to escape to his left and makes an accurate throw. Second and six. No, scratch that. Second and seven. Mon looks to throw. And here he's got Grant. 
And he's going to be out down inside the 20 at the 15. A gain there of 30 big ones. Well, partner, that's how you make a long drive suddenly. Not so long anymore. One big play, and they're already in field goal range with designs on getting more than that. Inside the red zone here, they'll look to throw. Looking left side, and he's got a man. That's Ford. It'll go down as a gain of six, and it'll be second down. Now that's now four completions in a row. A good bounce back following the interception last drive. Certainly not letting it affect him, that's for sure. And, we'll... and he is into the end zone. Touchdown, Cleveland. Jerome Ford, a nine-yard touchdown run. And the Browns will extend their lead in the final minute of the half. And oh, he clanks it off the right upright, and it's no good. Now he's back out there to boom this one away, maybe with some frustration after the PAT miss. This fielded right at the goal line. And he returns this to the 22. The Titans offense set to begin the drive. And with him down two scores, you wonder if they might try and put something together, even if it's just to get into field goal range. And that is incomplete. Charles, he doesn't seem to be particularly in tune with his receivers, just two for seven throwing the football, but he did seem really locked in before the game. Yeah, and that has to do with receivers sometimes. Sometimes the defenders knock them off their routes, and you usually... All right, rifles one, and that's gonna be intercepted. Picked off by John Johnson. And he takes this one back into the end zone. And the Browns' defense has a touchdown. Well, CD, that's a huge play by this defense at a close ball game. I think he was trying to just extend the play there, getting outside the pocket, but he throws a costly pick six. Yeah, he's trying to find someone open. You're exactly right. He wasn't looking to run. He was looking to throw. The result? Not good for him. They were more than happy on the defensive side to gather that one in and take it to the house. So they'll get another shot on offense following that pick six. And now the kick is away. And they're going to mark that where it went out of bounds. So really good starting field position up past the 40-yard line. First and 10 here. You know, if they could just get three out of this, there's something about narrowing it to a two-score game at half that makes it feel like much less of an obstacle. And he'll take a shot here for Hooper downfield. And it'll be incomplete. Good job staying with him defensively. And it'll bring up second down. Another dangerous throw there, partner. I mean, he's already thrown two interceptions here in the first half. I don't know if you want to keep throwing up 50-50 balls when you've had that kind of lack of success. Absolutely. Very well. Could have been a third interception in half number one. And that is incomplete. A lot of force bearing down on him there. He could not hang on. It's third down. All right, help me out here a little bit, partner, because what I'm seeing is a passing game that's just struggled to complete anything. No rhythm, no timing. Seems like every pass is also contested well, so give some credit to the defense. On the run, he'll let this go deep right side. And unable to connect, incomplete. Uh, give him credit, they took their shot, but it's going to bring up fourth down. They gave it a shot with a deep pass, but it wasn't going to work there. And now there's less time for them to try and get three before the half. Let's see what they dial up on this next snap. Now this is going to carry well into the end zone for a touchback. The Cleveland offense ready to go. And with seven seconds remaining, not much time to really do anything. Let's go, D. Big series right here. We got to step it up. Check 13. Check 13. On first and 10, here's Mond. And he will find his man Schwartz. That's complete. And we're going to get a timeout. 
with two seconds remaining in the second quarter. One play has him up past the 40 already and another first and 10. They'll throw now on the final play. Now he'll let it go deep right side. A 50-50 ball here and it's intercepted. Picked up by Amade Hooker. First half in the books. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Welcome back. Halftime over. We are ready for quarter number three. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. The Titans going to get the ball to start the second half, and they trail here as we get back to it on EA Sports. So now the possession will begin at the 35 after the errant kickoff. Well, that's certainly one way to avoid a dangerous kick returner, I suppose, but you are giving up extra yardage, that's for sure, because if you put it out of the end zone, they start at the 25. So at a minimum, you're giving up 10 yards to the offense. And they get to him after a gain of six to the 46. Six yards on that last play. Here's second and four. Tenth carry now for Derrick Henry. And he'll take it down shy of the 45 at the 46. A solid run by Derrick Henry, and here's another first and ten. Now a handoff running through the middle. 69 yards rushing for him now to this point. That's a really nice job by them picking up the run blitz and detecting it and blocking it and turning it into a nice run. And a lot of times you think if you blitz a running play, you're going to smother it. But a lot of the blitzers, they come in a little bit high. They don't have great leverage, and they're easily blocked and turned to the side. First down carry for Henry. And he'll go down right on the edge of the red zone following a pickup of about seven or eight. But no matter how they phrase it, staying on schedule, staying ahead of the sticks, whatever you want to call it, seven yards on first down, that fits the bill. Henry again on second down. And he'll take it down here just shy of the 15 at the 16-yard line. Four yards the pickup, first down. I think they like this drive a little bit better there, partner. Running game helping out, picking up some of the slack. Because remember the last drive, they went three and out. Running the slant, that's Robert Woods. Now this will leave him a yard short. Nice pickup of nine yards on first down. Here's second and one now from the seven. Henry up the middle. And into the end zone for a Tennessee touchdown. Derrick Henry taking it in from seven yards away. And the Titans are able to cut into this lead as they score on the opening drive of the second half. Here's Bullock now for the extra point. And the lead is trimmed down to 10. Now Bullock will send this one away after the touchdown. And he is out of bounds here on the return. drive about to get started and they were terrific in the first half built up a sizable lead and it's just been cut into a bit following the opening drive score on the other side but this is a unit that has to be itching to get the football again you can say that again they've got to be pretty eager because let's face it they've had to sit through halftime then sit on the sidelines and watch that drive so you can bet that they're saying let's get on with this we got to go out there and get some more points they run with Ford. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. 
That's good for a Cleveland first down and 11 yard pickup. Seemed like a couple sets of eyes were on the quarterback, so he decided, hey, I'm going to hand this off. Got a good gain out of it. And you know you need good blocking up front in order to gain yardage, but every one of these RPOs, if you do it right and they look the same, whether it's handed off inside or the quarterback keeps it, that allows you to fool the defense so often. And in this case, fooled them with the inside run. The previous run, good for nine. Here's second and a yard. Again, they turn to Ford. And he'll get it down here to the 43. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. Now a timeout called for by the offense. It's just their first, so two remaining as they burn one here in this third quarter. From the gun, here's Mon. Throw left side complete. That's Ford. And he gets this down inside the 35 before going out of bounds. So the completion results there in nine yards. And that'll give him a short yardage situation here for second down. And the attempt at three will have to come from the other end of the field as time has run out on this third quarter. This is the National Football League on EA Sports. A lot of pressure here for Cade York on the left hash. Officially, it's called a 51-yard attempt. York able to send this one through, and that will extend their lead even further. So that maybe not a knockout blow, but I, I suppose certainly every little bit helps when you're trying to salt one away in the fourth. Well, the possibility of being beaten by two late touchdowns or at least sent to overtime does exist, but time, definitely a big factor at this stage of the game, is in their favor. And he'll be out of bounds here just past the 20-yard line. The Titans offense set to begin the drive. And as the offense begins another drive here, uh, pretty simple, Charles. They want a carbon copy what happened the last time out when they ended their drive. Tannehill intercepted again. Picked up by Deion Jones, the linebacker. And the Browns are going to take possession of the football. So that changes things. You get the interception, and then to boot, a good return tacked on. And really, it was down to him versus the quarterback on the return, and that's one you would think the defender would win. But a nice job there of seeing the play all the way to the end and making the tackle by the QB. After the interception, here's Watson. Swings this out for Hunt. And he's going to be brought down just shy of the five at the six. Now that's the type of play that gives you a chance to win. Nothing forced downfield where you don't have a guy open. Swing it out to the back, on maybe even check it down, whatever you want to call it. Gain of five. You're just trying to get four on first down. They're ahead of the chains now. It'll only be a gain of a yard, and it sets up a third down and four now. Watson. Feeling the pressure here and taken down. A sack back at the seven. It'll go as a sack, a loss of three, and in turn, it takes us to a fourth down. And, of course, that's not an easy man to sack. You know how elusive he can be, try to get outside of the pocket. That was a great play on the defensive side. And I wonder what was going through his mind because he didn't seem as committed to using his legs to pick up yardage. He wanted to keep that play alive to either take off and go or throw it away. But he held on to the football and ended up getting sacked. So all things considered, that's not the final nail, but it does make things exceedingly difficult now on the other side. Yeah, because obviously now with a 16-point game, the other guys don't need just two touchdowns. They need a couple of two-point conversions as well. Plus, they'll need either a turnover or an onside kick in there somewhere. So you're just adding to the list of things that need to happen in sequence. And it's going to be a pretty tall order this late in the game. The Titans offense set to begin the drive. Now this offense trying to change the script here a little bit, CD. And his pass is intercepted for the fourth time today. John Johnson with the INT. And the Browns will take over here 
as they get it up to the 43-yard line. They exited the pocket trying to improvise. That was a tough throw, and unfortunately, it wound up in the wrong pair of hands. And Brandon, when you're on the run, sometimes your downfield vision can get skewed just a bit. Now, the beauty of extending a play is sometimes your receivers find their way open, but oftentimes you end up closing down part of the field and bringing those defenders to the ball, and that one was picked off. Good starting field position for them here as they come up first and 10 at their own 43. A little jet sweep to start the drive. That's a nice job there defensively being able to diagnose that little touch pass. They saw it coming, converged on it before he could get much out of it. Second and eight coming up. Here's mine. And it's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. Barton, I think he's got to be careful as he continues to try to extend plays because he's already been intercepted in this game. And the coverage, they continue to challenge all of his receivers downfield. Mond out of the shotgun. He finds his man complete. It's Ford. And he is going to have a Browns first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. Mond going to throw it. And he'll toss this one incomplete. Seeing no options, he throws it away. I see the surprise in your face there, partner. That is a rare incompletion from him. He's been on point this entire game. He has percentage completion-wise way up. Not that time. To throw on second and ten. Mon. He finds his man complete. That's Ford. And he's going to have another first down as the tackle's made at the Titans' 13-yard line. A good pick up there, a 22. Two minutes left to play in this football game here on EA Sports. On first down, here's Mon. That's to the right side and complete to Najoku. So he stopped for no gain, and it'll be second down. As a defense, you're more balanced when you're in zone coverage because you're able to keep your eyes on the quarterback and see the play develop in front of you. They're able to keep the quick pass in front of them and stop it right at the line of scrimmage. And the Browns are going to have it first and goal as he'll take this down to about the three. A good chance now to put this game on ice. This is first and goal. They'll try and run for it with Ford. And he takes this one in for a Brown score. Jerome Ford with his second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Browns have pretty well put it away here in the fourth quarter. Extra point by York is up and good. And that pushes the lead up to 23. ready and here we go as he sends this one away fields it right around the goal line and a big mistake on the return he's out of bounds at his own one yard line in this position trying to get back into the game teams are looking for a spark from their special teams that's not what they got though they got a setback and they have a long field to cover if they want to try and put points on the board and the drive starts with a completion left side Calling a gain of three on the play, and that'll bring up second down. You got the big lead defensively, willing to give them that underneath stuff, right? And this is why you work on your tackling. Tackle them after the catch, inbounds, keep the clock running. Just go ahead and bleed the game out that way. Running from the gun with Henry, and that won't buy him much room. Just a one-yard gain to the five. The Browns will quickly use their third and final timeout. It'll be their third and final timeout, so as they talk things over, we'll step aside. They are in need of six yards here if they hope to move the chains. To throw is Tannehill. Quick slant here to Woods. 
And they'll get him down up past the 15. That'll go for a gain of 13, helping big time to get away from that end zone. First down. Here's Tannehill. And the Browns pressure gets to him that time, and he's going to go down. Now the offense going to use the first of their timeouts as they stop him with 22 ticks to go in the fourth. Got to imagine the pass rush will be equally intense here on second down following the sack. It's second and 18. Open man downfield is Woods. Finding space at the 40. Robert Woods, the 30. 10. Touchdown, Titans. Robert Woods, an even 90 yards. And the Titans are able to cut into that deficit. He's got them out now to a three-score lead here in the fourth quarter after that one, CD. And, well, he looked right off the line like he knew that that ball was coming his way, and he secured it for six points. Yeah, and I think when you're leading by a healthy margin already, it actually loosens you up and allows you to take maybe a few more chances and definitely play with more confidence because he certainly saw something he could exploit in the defense. He made sure to let his quarterback know, just get it to me. And the rest was all up to him, and he delivered and made it a three-score game. He's got it. So they convert the two. That keeps their slim hopes alive as we're back to a two-score game. Now Bullock will send this one away after the touchdown. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone, so we will start here at the 25. And what is this? They're lining up here to punt on first down. Only 29 yards on the punt there. Definitely not his best. And there'll be time for maybe one final play before we hit triple zeros. Tannehill now a desperation throw deep downfield and this is intercepted and that should do it picked off by Anthony Walker and the Browns come up with a late turnover but it will probably only matter to the statisticians as this ball game is now officially over but Charles, a lot of happy faces heading into the tunnel as this one ends, and understandably so. Not only did they get the win, but boy, their offense was on fire in this ball game. And partner, I have no idea what the top speed is on all those high-end sports cars. What's the top gear you can get into? This offense, they certainly were there in this one, huh? Everything clicking for them in this contest, the kind of performance that they're going to cherish. Davis, I'm Brandon Gunn, and this has been a presentation of the NFL on EA Sports. For more, check us out at easports.com. It's a win for the Browns, and they're happy in the dog pound as we say so long from Cleveland.